Today, I am finally going to install brand new speakers in the Lexus. Uh, so on the bottom here, we have some JL Audio C1 650 component speakers. These are rated very well. I, I chose these speakers very strategically because I am not yet running an aftermarket amp. And because of that, you need to find speakers that are high sensitivity. So I think these are 93 decibels. That's the sensitivity for the bottom ones. These are for the rear doors. These are coaxial speakers from Kicker. They're rated very well. They're a newer release. And I think the sensitivity rating on these is 90 decibels. So it'll be good enough. You at least want 90 if you're using like a stock amp, especially in an older car. At least that's what they told me at Crushfield. So anyway, so in the last video with the Lexus, we installed the head unit and then realized that the RCA cables were plugged into the polar opposite uh, connection points in the back of the head unit. So I just fixed those and everything works and even the subwoofer works, which is surprising because there's no like subwoofer RCA cable. So I don't know. Let me do a quick speaker test, playing some of my own music. <laughs> Okay, let's open up this box. I'm very excited to put the sound system in. A six and a half inch, two-way component system. Oh yeah. Look at these tiny little tweeters, man. Those are adorable. Another big reason why I chose this JL component speaker set is because it has an inline crossover. This little box right here, it's pretty small compared to other options. This looks way less bulky and way less complicated. I don't have to mess around with any buttons, I just, I'm just gonna plug and play. First I need to take off the door. There's a little clip in here. That little cover revealed a screw. Oh, yeah. Now I think I just pry this out. Damn, that was unnecessary. The clip that in the front needs to go straight up. You need to pry it straight up. In the back, it's one of these clips that slides in horizontally. So you don't want to pry up in the rear. That one's off. This comes off super easy. You just literally pull up on it. Wow, look at this tweeter. It's just like plastic. Now I need to pop off this little cover. I'm gonna start with this little trim tool. Get my fingers under there. Ooh, all those clips are loose. Now I think I need to pull up. That's already off. This last little clip around here is for a little courtesy light. Someone's probably gonna be mad at me for not unplugging the battery, but I really don't care. Here's the door panel. <laughs> cool. That wasn't bad at all, actually. Oh my god. No wonder the speaker's blown. Dude. That's just completely thrashed. Look at that. All right, so now I'm, I think I just need to start unplugging stuff, dude. Hear that? So there's some sort of, whoa. That's like magnetic, dude, that's weird, you see that? Pioneer, made in Japan, look at that. Okay, my friends, I just did some research and I discovered that, or I came to the realization that this is not going to be a plug and play type thing. I need these wires, I need to um, cut them loose from this grouping right here so they're all taped together so that I can pull it down here and have enough slack so that this guy can fit. And then these are gonna plug into the new woofer. 
And then these are gonna come out of the other two prongs on the woofer, and these are gonna go into the tweeter. First thing I need to do is release this. Okay. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing, guys, so bear with me. I know that this is gonna plug into here. Okay, I know that much. Now this needs to be able to reach to the new speaker. This thing needs to come out. Okay, now I'm understanding, I think. There. I don't need any of this anymore. Check this out. My friend Corey came back over, he was here for 10 minutes, and he looked at all the brackets that I had, and then he sized them up and he's like, you know what? You don't need these brackets. And he just literally drilled it straight into the door. I tried it out. It works perfectly fine. Whoa. Babe, you're sneaky. You take a little nap? I can go back to sleep. Lots of wires going on here. And you know, I'm probably not the best guy to be doing a um, whatever kind of video this is. Definitely not a tutorial. Okay. That one's plugged in. And that one's plugged in. I'm gonna push this little plastic thing over it. Oh, it's going, okay, there we go. So I don't think this box right here is going to make it through this hole. That just doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Well, I need to do something, so. Here's nothing. Look at this. I just did some critical thinking, guys. So there's this, um, there's this foam. This like, it's on one side it's tape, and the other side is just, you know, some foam that came with, I don't know, Crutchfield sent it. So I cut off a little bit, and I put the sticky side all the way around the tweeter, and then I'm just wedging it in there. You see how there's like a depression right there where the, the stock tweeter bracket is pushing down? So I mean, it's not perfect. Just so I can get this going and move on to the next one, this is what I'm gonna do for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug my wires in now, and they make it really easy because one wire is a, a little thin and one wire is a lot, a lot thicker. So it's kind of foolproof, this part, which I like very much. And I, it, it even gives you a nice little click. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. I'm getting so pumped right now. Oh, look at that. Dude, I just pushed it right through. I'm probably just gonna tape it down super hard. Maybe put another piece of foam right in between the little crossover box and the metal. I'm really eager to do a sound test. So guys, I, I don't know if this is the right way to do it. This is what is working for me. Look at that. This thing is not going anywhere. That's awesome. So here we are. Good enough. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> How long has this car been torn apart in the freaking garage, babe? Tell them. Since like I, the first, second week of December? Yeah, I started this before Christmas. This is pretty pathetic. But, Daddy needs to get to work. All right, let me pull up. Oh, should I do I trying? Know, oh, it's been beautiful. Whoa, hey, of whoa. Those, like, old... Take it easy, Joe. Joey, bud. Babe, you gotta get that. That's that's what we're focusing on. That's what I just put in. Don't have it on me. Well, it works. This is all copyright free. Let's find something with some bass. Yeah, I can hear it. I don't see it. Put moving. your, put your, here, let me see. Can you put your ear up to the tweeter up top and see oh, if you. That's cool. You can feel it? No, no, you have to put your ear up to that one. That one's, you're not going to feel air from that one. Do you know how hard it is for me to maneuver that way? Sorry. I hear static. Aw. It's not working? 
I don't know, turn it up a little bit more. It's working. It's working? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, sweet. I'll try to find something with some bass so you can actually see the, the woofer move. <gasps> it's moving. You can see it. So it works. Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Real quick. Isn't that exciting, babe? Yeah. You finally get your door back. Vivian's been telling me that she doesn't even have a door when she when when I get her to ride in this car. She's like, I don't even have a door. <laughs> you have a door. You just don't have the door card. You mean the panel? Door card, door panel. Same thing. This is awesome. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Alright, now I gotta do this side. I think I'm gonna do front speakers one video and another video to do the rears because this is already gonna be a long video. I was telling them, babe, I'm not really a tutorial type of guy. I'm not like a, this isn't a tutorial type of YouTube channel because I don't even know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I don't think so. You do a lot of research and ask for help when you need it, so I would say it is sometimes a tutorial. Look what we're wearing, guys. Look at this. We went to the dark side. <laughs> guys, now that I'm thinking of it, it would have been it would have been a lot easier if I would have just gotten coaxials for the front as well. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to win any sound competitions, like sound system competitions. I could have just gotten those kickers in the front. I wouldn't have had to do like the whole entire tweeter thing. Um, and Vivian just loves to block what I'm trying to film. Halfway done guys, this is a good feeling. It really feels good to install parts that I did not feel confident about installing uh, when I started. So this is the first time I'm installing speakers and although I've been in the process of installing these godforsaken speakers for uh, just about a month now, and I did have to have some help from my friend Corey. All that being said, I'm still pretty proud of myself. So now it's time for a sick montage, boys. Oh, it's a good thing I got pick tools. Uh, dude, these pick tools are awesome. What an idiot, dude. The whole entire time, that wasn't budging because I didn't take the little trim around the door handle off. What a stupid idiot. Probably broke a bunch of clips. This is what I did to remove the stock tweeter. Oh, it's magnetic too. You can see it's glued on here, and all I did last time was kind of find this area, and I have I have my pick tool here, and the end of it is pretty sharp, pretty pointy. And I'm just kind of jamming it in here, very slowly at first, right into the glue. And we obviously don't need this tweeter any longer. This thing is 24 years old, 
it's Pioneer, so I mean, 1998 Pioneer stuff probably is not good at all by today's standards. This is going right in the trash. I'm trying to break the glue. Once the glue breaks in one spot, it's kind of like an earthquake. Yeah, and that's why you don't do stuff pointing at yourself. Now I need another Band-Aid. <laughs> all right, brothers. <laughs> Well, it's all fixed up now. See that now it's separated and there we go. Now I can use this metal bracket. What's the matter? Smile, you're on camera. I've taken chunks out of two fingers with that pokey tool right there. All I need to do now is pull the speaker up to the hole, and then I'm going to use a sharpie, mark my spots, and then I'm going to drill some holes. Or I'm going to get them started. He drilled it straight in. Didn't use a drill bit. Didn't do anything like that. He just did it like this. I'm going to try that right now. This is why I'm wearing gloves. So while my dad was here, he got me this uh, drill bit set. I just need something super small just to get it started. Uh, I don't get it. The hole right here is way too big for those little things. That's all I know. I found it. There, my, so we got two sets and this is the other set that we got and it has like a little, I don't know, thing. And it fits. So let's try it. Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is cool. <laughs> I can do big boy stuff now, baby. <laughs> Look at Charlie. Charlie, good girl. <laughs> bada bing. Hey, bada boom. Hey, buddy. Bada bing! This little clip thing, it's gonna go right there. Stupid little hole. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so now I gotta do this other hole too. Dude, come on, man. Oh, it's like, <laughs> it's in the, f it's all the way down in that hole. We spent probably 10, 15 minutes trying to get this bolt, this little nail, the screw, sorry, the screw, I was trying to get it back out and it's stripped. There's so many different types of screws here because Crutchfield sent like five different uh, universal kits or you know, whatever. Anyway, what's working are these like matte black screws. These, th these are the screws that we used in the other door and they work perfectly fine. This shiny black one is different because this is what I tried to use over here, which just stripped, bless you bit. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just gonna use the other matte black screws for the other two holes, but um, well, uh, anyway, I'm just gonna leave this one popping out. Like, I don't know what else to do. We've tried everything. I tried grouping it with everything I could with the um, with these pliers and trying to twist it out myself. It's just, it's not gonna happen. Um, I'm sure there are some other methods that you can use to get that screw out, but I don't really have the patience for that. I've been trying to get these speakers in for a long time and I'm just gonna get it done. So, wired it all up right here. You guys saw me do this on the other side, so I told Vivian she can start recording again because this is about to wrap up real quick, and it is. Every time I install something, guys. Let's go, you there. I don't ever wanna see that thing again. Oh my God, my leg is very asleep. Ow. These other three things tightened down. I am hoping that uh, I'm not gonna get any rattling. <sighs> the struggles of being an average Joe with less than average mechanical skills trying to make a YouTube channel. Average Joe, less than average mechanical skills. That's me. I think you do great. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's give this one a little more juice. And this guy, let's see if he'll go in. It's good enough. Is it gonna rattle? No! I'm freaking fed up with this dude. I need to take this to work tomorrow and I just wanna get this done. Dude, I've been eating. Non-stop this week, guys. Non-stop. The scale doesn't work, but I know I'm the heaviest I've ever been. There. Speaker test, and then I'm just shutting this video down after that. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. It works. I'm probably just gonna drive to work like this tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I will see you as soon as I can because uh, today, let's go show them. Today, we spent the whole day putting together um, some furniture in our daughter's little nursery or soon to be nursery. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. So we put together this little crib and uh, it's pretty cute. This is soon going to be one of my new favorite book bags. It's a, this, this is a what kind of book bag is this? It's a diaper bag. Ah, a diaper bag. That's right. Also, we started wallpaper and then <laughs> Vivian realized that um, she didn't get the measurements correct. So. She. What? Don't pin this. I gave you the right measurements. You did not. Yes, I did. Okay, you know what? It's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> I didn't give her the right measurements, okay? I don't measure shit. So we only have one strip. But anyway. Yeah, we're gonna get a big throw rug in here because it's so echoey. Well, we're gonna put stuff up on the walls too. Yeah. And also we put together this dresser. This dresser was a pain in the rear end, dude. I'm trying not to swear at all anymore. Like no more swears. Not even a, not even like a, a damn or a, a Why? Because YouTube has gotten super, super strict as of like a week ago with their monetization policies regarding um, profanity. So. That's dumb. Yeah. You tell them, babe. Anyway, dude, I might go buy some vapes because uh, I'm just getting so, so fat. Do you guys want to see a, um, a belly reveal? No, not that one, babe. <laughs> I show them that one all the time. Here, let me, hold on. I had to unbutton my pants when we were putting the speaker in because I just ate three bowls of spaghetti. I just can't, I, no self-control. <laughs> it's okay. I was really hoping you would break it so that we could replace it. There are abs under there, believe it or not. Yeah, well, my belly wins, so... All right, that's all I got. Seriously, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you as soon as I can. Bye-bye. Are you really going to show the whole... You know what I just thought of? What? Your crappy old Lexus is going to have a nicer sound system than your brand new BRZ. Oh, that's totally true. That's very true. <laughs> the BRZ sounds this... Uh, see, I don't want to hate on the BRZ because I miss it so much. You I'm going to romp car, on that but... thing when it comes back. I'm gonna rip it. I'm gonna terrorize the town. Remember, you're a dad now, so you have to be careful with stuff. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be semi-careful. Are you still recording? Yep. We went to the dark side. I mean, they're so ugly, but I get it now. Yeah, they're, they're strangely comfortable. I'm, I'm in sport mode. Oh, we're both in sport mode. Yep. So, um... <laughs> Are you gonna say it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, girls don't fart. Girls don't poop. 
So when's dinner? I need to send this one back. <laughs> when's dinner? Um, We're non-refundable. <laughs> what do you want for dinner? Here's some pancakes. And? Eggs and bacon. Your mom said I need 100 grams of protein. Protein. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Stop. All right, thanks, babe. You know. Mm -hmm.